Well, hello, and welcome to a long overdue springtime cigar smoking edition of Project 41. As you can tell right off the bat, part of why I've been away for so long is, well, we have a new home. Not too far from the other one, just the other side of the mountain. But we're in a significantly smaller space now, which is alright. I was only using one bay in the other garage. In this place, of course, as you can surmise, I've got a shed out back for all the typical suburban homeowner accoutrements. Being that this garage is mine, lock, stock, and barrel, I can do things like this. I've already begun installing the modern conveniences. The car guy's uh, equivalent of uh, indoor plumbing right here. Uh, not for plumbing use, obviously, but you know what I'm saying. Just as essential. And, just to get you caught up, not really much has changed, except for the fuzzy dice. Started gutting the interior. There you go, 1941. Not only did the car come with turn signals, it had heated seats. No, I'm just kidding, boys and girls. That's probably uh, part of the original configuration of the cabin heater. That's all that's left for original seating is the seat back for the back seat. Just spotted a tiny patch of rust to take care of. But, uh, headliners all out. Now, you may recall Uh, from previous videos that uh, I've got some seats that I was planning on having reupholstered and well they are at the shop right now being done by hand in GM beige leather to match the steering wheel just as I had mentioned and then um, while I was at it, I put down enough of a deposit to buy extra hides so that not only will the seats match the steering wheel, so will the door panels and those little strips there that will be around the uh, armrests. Could do the armrests themselves too. Nothing much has changed up front. There's the caddy's drive line. I haven't had time to do anything other than what I did at the other garage just prior to shipping her over here. I just got her nice and well, dust tight, I guess we'll put it that way. Here you can see the huge gap I was talking about in previous videos. And, uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, modifying where my motor mounts go in the stock caddy subframe using this handy dandy little device I'm actually going to weld metal plates so that I can move everything back to the firewall there's the intake for the uh, ventilation and the uh, heater core but previously I was planning on using these handy dandy little uh, adjustable motor mounts made for 
swaps that would have allowed me to shift everything back three, three and a half inches, which as you can see would not amount to a hill of beans here. So. Where I plan probably to pick up, since the seats are in, in the shop now, I'll probably continue with my interior work. And by my next video update, this should be at least clean enough for me to put the seats in when they're ready. Um, but uh, they will not be permanently mounted. I'll show you a dry fit because I still have a lot of dirty work to do in here. I have a lot of metal to cut. Uh, don't forget I am modifying everything. I'm putting in power window units on all four sliding windows. Planning on keeping the vent windows crank. Uh, part of my homage to the originality of the car. And again, I'm not chopping the body at all. I'm not changing it from its its stock appearance on the outside very much because I want this to be readily recognized as what it is when people see it. This is a 1941 Buick Special six passenger seat net commonly referred to as a two door fastback and when I'm done with it it will not be a six passenger <laughs> <laughs> It'll be more of a 2 plus 2, but that's okay. And so there it is. A brief update for you on where I am, where I've been, what's been going on. And I'll see you next time for another edition of Project 41.